Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a haul video to share with you and it is kind of an assortment of things that I've been purchasing over the last couple months and I'm excited to share it with you. It's um, stuff from Ulta, Sephora, one thing from Neiman Marcus and I have some phone cases and just I just wanted to share with you some of the stuff that I've just purchased since I've been gone away from YouTube. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll kind of try to go in segments in case you're not really interested in some things. Oh, I do have some nail polish as well to share with you. But let's start with this first item that I got at Neiman Marcus because I think this is so cool. My hairstylist used this on me when I got my hair done last and I had to purchase it. So I found it on Neiman Marcus. That's the only place I could find it, or Amazon, they have it there too. This is the R Plus Co, or R and Co Dart Pomade Stick. So it looks like that. It's just like a tiny like deodorant stick that twists up, and it's a pomade for your hair. So I have crazy breakage and flyaways. I have like crazy baby hairs up here, and sometimes using a hairspray is just too drying. It gets too like stiff. And so this stuff, I already have some on, but you can literally just like swipe it on. I guess I have more baby hairs here that I just cannot contain even with this stuff. So it just helps hold, hold them in place. This stick was $19, which is a lot for a little bit of product, but I, I feel like it'll last a really long time. And I'm just really happy to have this. I don't have to use hair hairspray now to plaster down my hair. It's more soft and touchable. Just thought that was a really cool product. Let's go ahead and do Ulta next. So I had to do an emergency run to Ulta when I was in Minnesota a couple weeks ago because I was trying out a new product, which I'll tell you about, that was sent to me and it made my skin kind of I don't know, break out and get, just get really re like red and patches of dry skin and it was just not good. So I needed something to soothe my skin. So I ran to Ulta and they had like one of these left. The Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. I was looking for either this one or the Mar Marula, is that how you say it, oil? Which I love both of these. I've, I've have tried them multiple times or I've purchased multiple jars of these in the past. Anyway, I got that and let me kind of rewind a little bit and tell you about the product that kind of irritated my face just in case you were interested in it or whatever. So Pixie sent me this line of products, their Jasmine line. It's just all their Jasmine, the purple products. This is the Retinol Jasmine Cleanser with Retinol and Ceramides Smoothing cleanser or soothing smoothing so got that and thank you so much to pixie if you're watching i do appreciate getting pr now that i'm back on youtube it's really it helps my channel like review products without breaking my bank um yeah so this is the retinol jasmine lotion i'll tell you now the one that broke my skin out and made it irritated was the retinol night oil so i don't know if it's something the jasmine part or the retinol part. I sure didn't want to keep testing it out to see because <laughs> my skin was irritated. And then I got the retinol eye cream. I like the packaging how it's like a pump. It looks like that. And then last, the retinol tonic. I'm excited to try these out. I just hope they're more gentle on my skin. I don't know if my skin is just irritable like I said to the retinol. Going back to the ordinary product, um, I highly recommend this. Like I said, I've used so many bottles of this and it's under ten dollars you just can't beat it and it really helped restore my skin soothe my skin i just slather this all over my face and down my neck even like on my eyes and eyelashes so that's good stuff you can't beat the price of the ordinary products and then when i got back home i had the itch to go to ulta and so i did <laughs> and was i there to get anything no in particular no i just wanted to browse and it really sucks because you know, you can't use the testers. We can't really play with the product. Everything has seals on it because of COVID obviously, but there were a few things that caught my eye. And so I, the thing I was probably most excited about was this kit right here. And mine is empty because I've already used it and I've tested it out. This is the Kiss Falscara system. And so 
what this is is a system where you put these little lash like almost like trio size they're just little like that and you put them on the underside of your eyelash I don't want to talk too much about this because I can do a full product review if you want it's not like a lash extension kit where it's gonna last you five to seven to ten you know days it's not that which is kind of what I thought it would be I could have kept them on longer than two days and if you follow me on Instagram I did stories like an update and stuff they lasted through a workout and a shower you know being gentle and stuff with them but then they just kind of started to look not that great but anyway it comes with the kit comes with the lashes a bond and the sealer and then the tool so this is what the tool looks like which is actually a pretty decent pretty decent lash applicator just to get I don't know if that's gonna focus I just want to mine's dirty because I've been using it that's what the tip of it looks like and then the one that comes in the kit is the lengthening one they have lengthening uh, lifting which I did order I haven't received it yet I just wanted to try all three styles and the last style and the one that I have on today is the volumizing wisps and so that's what they look like I mean basically they're like little lash trios that you can buy like not individual lashes but like clusters not a whole strip or you could even cut up a strip and use the bond and seal with it I like it but it's not gonna last you for like the same time that a lash extension would the bond is not that strong and it's kind of hard to work with there is like a learning curve and I don't I wouldn't I don't know that I would purchase this again having had the experience could be user error I'm sure because I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on this product you know before I used it on myself and a lot of people had good luck with it but some people had really bad luck with it so I think it just depends on what you're looking for and your lash skill level which mine is low because I haven't worn false lashes in so long but yeah I have those volumizing wisps on today and I do have I had to put on some mascara over top of them because um, I started too far out on the eye and then there's like a huge gap I mean there probably still is on the inner corner so I should have started in you know and I only used four of the five I couldn't fit like I didn't have enough lashes for the last the fifth wisp to, to like grip on there because they do grip on to your natural lashes so enough with that let me know if you have questions or comments about this whole system if you want a whole review video and the reason I got this is because I want to get eyelash extensions and I actually had an appointment to get them and I, I canceled it because it's a lot of maintenance and it's a lot of money. So I just don't want to have to go somewhere like every two weeks for a couple hours for the fill. It just takes a long time and mostly it's just expensive. So I have been going down the rabbit hole of at home DIY lash extensions. And so I've ordered a couple other products. I got Lilac Street. I will be testing out um, Ardell like with their lash light like extension glue I think it is so I will be trying those out and a couple other products or brands that I'm gonna be testing out as well so stay tuned for those if you have one in particular like a brand or a system that you like then let me know and I can check that out for you as research so this I actually ordered from Tarte but you can get the full size at Ulta and it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I used to have this when it first came out. I did test it out and I just, I found it to be too drying under my eyes, but I think I was using way too much. So I kept hearing my, one of my favorite YouTubers, I think, I think you pronounce her name Dominique I have no idea how to say her last name but she uses this and she is in her 50s and she's absolutely beautiful the age doesn't matter but she uses the Tarte Shape Tape and she loves it so much and the reason another reason why I got it is because her other previous Holy Grail concealer was my years ago favorite concealer which was the Tarte Creaseless Maracuja concealer so I'm like those are these are totally different products but if she loved that one and now she loves the Tarte Shape Tape I'm gonna give it another try I didn't want to invest in the whole tube the big bottle 
because a little bit goes a long way anyway. So I got this cute little mini one. It's like the size of my pinky almost. And it was only $10 on the Tarte website and they had free shipping. They have a ton of shades to choose from. They didn't have that many shades when I got this the first time around. I ended up getting rid of it or decluttering it because I just, I was using too much of it. So now I'm just using like tiny little dots. I have it on today under my eyes and I think it's working so good. I didn't, I don't have to set it with a powder, which is what I was looking for in a concealer, because the ones I'm using now, you have to set them with a the powder. Otherwise, they crease and they, they kind of move around. I got the shade 12 Fair, oops, 12 Fair Neutral. And so far, I've been really liking that. If you have fair, or no, if you have mature skin or dry under eyes like I do, I think the key with the Tarte Shape Tape is to use just a tiny a tiny tiny bit because it is a really great mess or uh, what's it called a concealer <laughs> it does it is pretty full coverage and it does kind of dry down nicely and you don't need to set it at least i don't really have to set it with a powder which is great if you have dry eyes dry under eyes what else did i get from ulta i know i got a couple brow products so another thing beauty thing that I want to do is get microbladed brows but I've heard it hurts and of course it's very expensive and you have to go back every year to get them touched up so I've been trying to find at home products that are going to get me by <laughs> and wait for my itch to get microbladed brows to pass so I saw this I went in for one product let me show you the product I went in for and then I'll show you the one that I saw and I'm like I'm gonna have that one too so I went in to repurchase has that been in the way that was my mirror sorry about that I went in to repurchase this product here the um, brow stylus boost and set by L'Oreal and I get it in the blonde shade so that's what the packaging looks like and I'll show you my old one. This is the one that I have already been using and it's almost dried out, it's almost gone so that's why I repurchased it. So it looks like that and look how tiny that is. So it's perfect for literally like it says volumizing your, your brows. I have it on today but I also have like 10 other brow products because I just was playing around and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try this and this and this. So I kept layering my brows, which is why they're kind of harsh or dark, but I, I, I'll go with it. So anyway, you just, you know, it makes them look fluffy, it adds volume, it makes them give it like the hair look. You probably are not gonna like this product if you don't have a lot of brow hairs to work with, but I was using this just on a daily basis just to add a little bit more definition. It's super quick and easy. It's not like a pencil where you have to fill them in all the way and you know, and that can take a little while. So I really love this product by L'Oreal. And they have a few other shades too. I think they only have three shades to choose from, like blonde, light brown, and maybe brunette. So then when I was in there picking that up, I saw this product. Is that the right way? Yeah. <laughs> and this is actually the wrong shade. I grabbed the wrong shade. So I, I have it in blonde as well because it was buy two get one free of L'Oreal products. So this is the Micro Ink Pen by Brow Stylist. And as you can see there, it's like those three little prongs and it makes what look like hair-like strokes. So I have mine in blonde. This is what the actual product looks like. Hopefully you can see that. And let me try to swatch it for you. See how it kind of makes like hair-like strokes and that was, I was pressing down way too much on that but you can take it and go, you can go lighter or heavier with your pressure. This is another product I've been using just on its own to just fill them in and get that kind of microbladed brow look. And for this product, I think I think you don't have to have a lot of brow hairs for it to look nice. Um, I have this on today <laughs> as one of my many layered brows, brow products that I am wearing. And I like to wear this one by itself. I think this one with the, with the this one will be like a great combo for everyday brow look where I just don't want to have or I just don't have or want to take the time to sit down and fill in my brows with a pencil. I love the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is like that super, here's mine, super, you know, pinpoint. It just takes a little bit to fill it in. I love this in taupe. 
Um, but it just takes longer and I don't I just don't have a lot all the time these days So I think this is gonna be a great combo <laughs> Something to kind of stain the skin. It's supposed to last for 48 hours and I did test it out It does last for 48 hours. You just have to make sure you steer clear of any oils or You know heavy creams it did last through a workout and obviously sleep I'm probably gonna have to cut this video up into two because I'm taking forever a lot of stuff to talk about and share with you. But also from Ulta, I got three of these NYX products. I first got repurchases from years ago. I have the NYX Retractable Eyeliner, and I got it in the shade Gold, and also in the shade Bronze, which, let me open the bronze so I can swatch those for you. Packaging is kind of a little biatch, so it might take me a second. So basically, it's a, um, get that out of the way. It is a retractable pencil, meaning you can just click it up and click it down. And I love these colors. I've had them before. This gold color is so beautiful in the waterline. It really helps bring out green eyes, which is what I have. And I mean, it will be beautiful on any eye color. And the bronze is more of just like a bronzy, like brown. So gold and bronze just because i'm more minimal makeup these days and i'm all about getting it done quick fast and quickly i haven't been wearing eyeliner on the upper lash line just the lower and this is just like an easy way to just throw it in the water line smudge it out a little bit if you need to and be done with it so these have always been a long time favorites and i recommend those they're about five bucks each and also from nyx i got the retractable lip liner in the shade pinky beige looks like that it's a lot more pink than i thought it would be i thought it would be a little bit more neutral but looks like that right there and i got this because well i definitely don't need any new lip liners but i wanted something to keep in my purse that i can not have to sharpen because every lip liner that i have in my purse right now is dull like a stump and i can't use it so i wanted something that i just don't have to sharpen and this one obviously clicks up so i got it for that reason i did test this out just once so far and it just wasn't the longest wearing product but it did kind of leave a nice the color is actually really pretty on the lips so not holy grail by any means but definitely a good one just to have in your purse for the reasons i just mentioned i was going to split this video into two but i figure i'll just make it a long video and hopefully that's okay with you so next up i have madam glam products to share with you my nail polishes and i have been using madam glam um, products and their soak off gel nail specifically for years years now and so they did send me a couple new colors to try out and they sent me a few other things i'm going to share with you so they did send me a new top a top coat and base coat which is great because that's what you need when you're doing a gel manicure and let me know if you have questions about gel nail polish i highly recommend this brand i just feel like their color selection is impeccable it's like huge and i love their packaging because the color is not only on here but it's also on the top so for storage you know i store mine in like a plastic tub and i just store them sitting up like that i can easily see which color i'm going to choose and use and that just run <laughs> so this new one is in the color daydream it's like a light a light pink with a little bit of sparkle in it so beautiful and then also with a little bit of sparkle this is called rumor has it this one is cannot wait until it gets a little bit more fall which is almost september and i'll be rocking this one so there's the color on the top and then last for color is perfect black and i will tell you here in a second why i specifically picked out the black color because I have a vision in mind of what I'm gonna be doing with my nails. Let me just show you that now actually. So I wanna do black with chrome powder on top of it. And so this chrome powder I ordered from Amazon and it comes with, it's like unicorn chrome powder. It's called Pretty Diva Mermaid Pigment. So I will link the exact one I got down below. I'll link all these products down below. I haven't used this yet, but I did get my nails done at the salon and they used chrome powder over white and it looks so cool. I'm going to try to do it myself at home because I'm such a DIYer when it comes to beauty products or beauty stuff like that. I just don't 
hesitate to try it to save money and time <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna test that out it does come with some little eyelash sponges that you do need to buff on the nail this is not a dip powder this is one you buff on there and something you need to have if you're doing this with gels you need to have a wipe off top coat which i did order this myself from madam glam or or excuse me it's called a no wipe top coat so you do need this in addition because that's just and i just googled a bunch of tutorials on youtube like holographic chrome powder mermaid nails and that's how i'm gonna learn how to do this at home chrome nail color i'm gonna do it over black did i mention that and it's gonna be so cool looking i did get also from amazon just a case of these sponge tip or eyeshadow applicators because i wasn't sure I didn't know that it already had come with some in here. So now I have extra. The product that I'm most excited about that Madam Glam was so generous to send me is one of their new products that they have and it's this here. It's called their nail polishing pen, but basically it's like a tiny little drill and you can use, comes like that, nicely packaged. I've already played with this. I just made sure that it, the battery was charged it does have a usb charger there and it just looks like that so you put this little drill bit in there um you take this off first and you put it in there and it basically if you have soak off gel polishes then it like that you just kind of take take the layer off the the top layer of your nail polish and then you can soak them off a lot easier if I can learn how to turn that off. So once you kind of break down that like nice shiny top coat layer, you can use either their gel nail polish remover, which is like a magical product. You have, if you do gel nails at home, you definitely need it. <laughs> I'll list it and link it below. And, or you can use like cotton balls and acetone but that takes a lot longer so anyway i'm very excited about this they also have um like a drill bit set that has different size little heads like that so if you want to do like clean up your cuticles or you know do whatever like they do at the nail salons you can do that so i'm very excited to have that it's gonna make my life so much easier <laughs> big thank you to madam glam for sending me these products and I will leave my discount code with Madam Glam down below. It's not an affiliate, it's just a discount code for you guys to use if you're interested. So next, let me share with you what I've ordered from Sephora. I'm so happy that they finally changed their rewards program. So now you can, for 500 points, Beauty Insider points, if you have some, you can cash it in for basically $10, $10 off your purchase. So I've had a ton of points for a few years now and I've never used them on anything because there's nothing that like caught my caught my fancy so I've been cashing them in and basically getting ten dollars off all my purchases so the first items that I got are the Laneige lip sleeping mask this one is in sweet candy and I got this in a few flavors I got it also in apple lime which I love I love all of them apple lime that one is out in my living room by my coffee table this one is on my goes in my bedside drawer and then i also got strawberry because i've had that one before but i lost it so i repurchased it i don't even know where it is right now who knows so i got those for ten dollars off and i also got this conditioner this is from sol Janeiro. is that how you say it? i always say it wrong it looks like that and it's just their conditioner and i got this because I wanted the smell because it smells like their bum bum cream which smells amazing but I have to say this is not my favorite conditioner it's pretty standard uh, lightweight takes a lot of product to kind of get detangled in there but the smell is incredible and almost it's worth having like a mediocre product just because the smell is so good if you haven't had this scent or smelled this scent you need to check it out because it just smells it smells so good and then also from sephora i ordered a clinique product this is a chubby stick sculpting contour so basically it is just a cream contour looks like that that's what it looks like it's not like a 
an extreme cool tone contour. It's more of a kind of bronzy shade. And I got this because sometimes I just don't want to have to set my face with a powder. And I can't really do powder over cream products without setting my face first because it just doesn't apply very smoothly. It kind of like sticks to, to, the, to the skin that hasn't been already set with a powder, if that makes sense. So I got this on days where I'm not going to use a powder. And I have it on today, but I, I also have on another bronzer. I have the NARS Laguna bronzer, which I love. So I just kind of, you know, did it in the bronzing. Actually, I did it in the contour places, like right here. It's really, it's beautiful. It blended out really well. It wasn't overly pigmented where it causes like your whole face to be this color after you blend it out. And so I'm excited to have this. I actually want to check out some of their cream blushes that come in their little chubby sticks. Let me know if you have any of those and if you like them. But I do like the formula of this. So I'm guessing I would like the blushes as well. And then next is... A retractable eyeliner from Sephora collection and this is in the shade shimmering taupe find a place to swatch it actually let me swatch it next to those NYX ones so there it is in shimmering taupe I just wanted an eyeliner that I didn't have to sharpen kind of the same thing as that lip liner I was talking about and this one has a little smudger tip on the end which is very handy and it also has like a sharpener built in so you can use that as well if you want to kind of sharpen the tip of your of your crayon this is the one i have in my lower waterline today i just kind of smudged it out it gives a little bit of definition without having to wear like lower lash line mascara i just haven't really been wanting to wear lower lash line mascara because it just takes a little bit of extra effort to put on and it always smudges and it's just it's, didn't want to do it so I've been loving eyeliners like these this one and the NYX are great I think that's everything from Sephora although I do feel like I'm forgetting something we'll just have to save that for another haul if that's the case but last but not least I wanted to talk about these phone cases that I have recently ordered because I think they are so adorable there's so many different ones to choose from these are the ones that I have and the brand is called get case or casely or get Casely on social media. And I love them so much that I actually signed up to be like an affiliate or an ambassador or something like that. So I do have a discount code. I'll leave it down below. But I ordered mine when they were buy one get one free. So maybe they still have that promotion going on. I think you had just had to sign up for their emails to get that. But two cases for 25 bucks, you just cannot beat it. Um, this one is like purple sparkle look how blingy that is and this one is kind of just this cute marble with rose gold rose gold veining in there and I did order pop sockets too to match my cases because I, I cannot use a phone without a pop socket I just can't do it so this is the rose gold like gem pop socket and this one is the I think it's called lilac metallic like gem pop socket so I just love those I just thought I would mention them I've, I've just been enjoying them quite a bit and I mean they're not gonna be like an otter box as far as like protection like if you drove over this with your with your car it's probably gonna break your phone will break but I've dropped it a couple times using both of these because I just switched this out I was using this one before and it's been just fine so I think for the price you cannot beat it because sometimes cute phone cases can really get up there in cost and then I don't know these are just really affordable and really cute so I wanted to talk about those briefly but yeah you guys I think that's everything that I wanted to share with you hopefully um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have any of these products and what your thoughts are on them and yeah, um, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.